Hi. <laughs> Hi, you guys. It's me, Theophilus the Fool. Um, well, actually, uh, Theophilus the Avali. That's weird. Uh, yeah, that that's it. <laughs> Hey, I, uh, I'm here in Neos VR. It's a wonderful game. I think everyone should definitely try playing this. It is so much fun. It really is. <laughs> but, uh, so anyway, I just wanted to get on here and do a little video. And I definitely wanted to talk to you guys, um, about what's going on and things that are happening, uh, in my life. One of the main things I wanted to talk about was, uh, a question that came to me was like, how is being a furry? Do you... Do... Well... <laughs> Stop doing work on the ship. Like, oh my god. <laughs> can, can, can you guys quiet down? You're being noisy. Really, you can, it's, it's stop. <sighs> Cause I just gotta wait here until they're done. You, you, you guys good? Okay, okay, good. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> so I wanted to share to you guys what it's like to be a furry while being active military in the Navy. So I finally moved from a ship to a shore command what that means is basically i literally was working on this every single day <laughs> this is where i lived slept ate and went to the restroom and everything <laughs> uh met a lot of cool friends and had a lot of uh cool sea stories to share uh in you know future videos now me being a cs i'm a culinary specialist i basically cook in the navy um, for I make food for the entire crew um, but on shore command I work at a hospital and there I basically feed all of the patients it's actually kind of interesting to see how food is made in a hospital versus on a ship it's uh, actually more I would say tasty <laughs> oh man it's so I I'm really enjoying it so far I do get a little more free time but nah not as much, but at least I get every other weekend off. But I wanted to also explain to you my working hours. The reason why I haven't been really submitting any videos or doing any content creation as much as um, when I first started out was because my time off was, like I barely had any time off. It, it was just, I've always worked. I would literally work from like zero three, I would wake up and literally work through the entire day. No windows, no nothing, and I would get off at about seven o'clock at night every single day. <laughs> it was heartbreaking. <laughs> but now that I am finally able to have a decent amount of time off, I literally work uh, from normally, oops, sorry. <laughs> I usually work from a, uh, 08 maybe sometimes 10 and then get off around 5 6 o'clock so I'll have much more time to be able to edit and make more content so the one question that came up what was uh, that was that was asked is what is it like to be in a furry in the military well everyone at work that I work with I literally told them all now some of you guys might call me crazy or brave but I don't want to work in a workplace and, you know, I don't want to work wherever I have to hide for what I am, what I love. To my surprise, most people didn't even know what furries were. I told them the best way that I can. Um, basically, we're just fans of cartoon animals. And we bring our own characters to life in any way we can. Through, you know, costuming, the most everyone knows about. Uh, drawings, book writing, and virtual reality, <laughs> which is kind of cool. I didn't really get teased 
for being a furry. I wasn't really judged. Um, it's it's kind of funny because I I woo all the time in the galley. And the, and the galley's a kitchen, if you guys didn't know. Um, they, they even started calling me Fuzzball or Furry for my nickname. Uh, now there are times in the military where I have to put my little goofy goofball, uh, you know, furry side away and have to be more professional. If uh, things need to get done, like if the meal isn't being prepared on time, I have to be like, hey, what are you doing? S stop sitting around. Go, go cook something. <laughs> So a question might pop up is, if I barely have any free time to be able to do anything, how do you go and attend cons and conventions? Well, for me to attend conventions, I have to log into a computer and submit leave, like a, like a permission slip. So once I fit in leave, I have to go through the chain of command and has to get approved by my work center supervisor, my boss, my boss's boss, and boss, 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 basically. And if it gets approved, then I get those days off that I asked for. Like uh, Anthrocon. I was finally able to go to Anthrocon. And that was like last minute because I just checked into this command and... I didn't think it would get approved, but it did. So I was able to finally meet up with my good old friend, Mark Spark. Um, he introduced me to Majira and Kiwi. Well, we basically had a wonderful time at Anthrocon. I really enjoyed it. And I cannot wait to go back <laughs> next year. Hopefully we might be able to make Midwest Fur Fest. Who knows? I mean, that would be great. I, I would really want to go. But uh, yeah. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I really did. Like, this is. Ah! I'm a fluffy little fluff floof. <laughs> I'm a floofy boy. But I'm glad you guys enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed it. Because I know I am. I'm losing my mind in VR. <laughs> you guys definitely should get a VR. But yeah, that's basically my experience in the Navy so far. It, it, it's been a wonderful ride. Um, do, will I play a good career? Probably not. You know, I, I don't know if I can do this every single day. It's so stressful at times. Uh, I would like to do a job that I actually enjoy, like video editing production. I might become a YouTuber for as a career, but we'll see where my channel goes. You know, make some, you know, subscribers. You gotta subscribe to me, all that stuff. And I'll make amazing more content <laughs> uh, i hope you guys enjoy this video and you guys gave a good old thumbs up <laughs> oh look there's a person's Ooh. It's, dream camera. it's pretty see you. hi hi agus hi i'm recording this thing is mm -hmm. awesome I love this. I was loving this camera. <laughs> this stream thing is amazing. Yeah, I was just using it earlier. I love it. Yeah. Hello, people out there in the uh, world. <laughs> <laughs> what you doing? Huh, floofy? <laughs> oh my gosh, it's a gun. See you guys, he is like making weapons in the game while playing it. <laughs> I, bet you can't, I bet you can't do that in VR chat. <laughs> Damn right. <laughs> like, look at this greatness. <laughs> I just need things. Oops. There we go. Especially non-US people probably look at that and they're like, oh my god, it's a spaceship. <laughs> it's <a> spaceship. <laughs> but it's really not. Like, look at the skybox so that he made. And I brought in from one of the interviews that was playing in it with the uniform. Yeah, it is. The skybox is really good. I should make tutorials on how to create skybox in here. Yeah. At some point. 
<laughs> all right you guys i am going to see you guys later i will like subscribe and like and follow neos on twitch boys <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> bye ah.